Got a bunch of ladies over here that are wanting where I am. Let's go get them. These are still some of last year's um, calves yet to be weaned. They're kind of young. Probably a couple more months. But I did notice a couple of the cows are bagging up. So I expect new calves here real soon. Look at this young man. Look at that head. A little low line bull calf. Ripped his tag out. And he's about a month old. So you see how I hook this here. I take the poly wire and I wrap around the hook. And the reason for that is, is I found that when you hook just the hook on the fence to make it hot, if a deer happens to catch us when it jumps, this will come unhooked. And I've noticed that a, more than a few times. So what I do now is I pull the poly wire tight like I've got here, all the way up the hill, all the way over to here, pull it tight, I wrap it around the fence a couple times, pull the handle back, and wrap the fence around it. So there, I've got the handle undone. The fence is obviously off. And we'll drag this wire up out of everybody's way. And I don't think it's going to take much to get on the move over here. Come on, girls. Hip. Hip. I'm going to hold this poly wire tight so there's nowhere up there for them to get through. And they all have to come here in front of us. really be on the other side okay one of the cows I see that's bagging up is this green tag one here coming right behind the Hereford right in the middle there drop this poly wire and go take a look at her now I suspect that she's a Jersey Angus cross just by her bag and knowing that we bought her from Amish but yeah her vulva is super sloppy all springy and look at it bounce it ain't gonna be long so let's go back up in here now and see if we can see the other cow. Number 49. Or is she back there hiding somewhere in the in the tree line with a baby calf? Girl's that hot? You're not even gonna start grazing? 49. She's a big old girl. Green tag 49. Right here she is. And she's a big old girl. And she was bought from the Amish too. A little bit different body structure though. She's a lot bigger frame wise and uh, her bag don't get quite as big as the first one she'll be capping soon no one your mama this girl here is mine look how slicked out she is already and how fat she looks oh Millie oh Millie's Gail B. Angus Cross right here makes awesome calves and she's fully pharaoh but we're grazing now folks working away across the property 
you don't dare stand too close behind the back of a cow right now because they will crap on you. This one's a steer. I call him Junior. He looks pretty good. Don't you, Junior? You can get rid of that fuzzies, buddy. Slick it out. Calf from last year, late calf number 25. If you remember, we uh, we didn't finish our calving till real late in the year. Matter of fact, it was over winter. Is that your mommy there, little bull? Is that your mommy? This one's mommy's that white face when it just went up the hill there. This is actually the cow that had the calf that broke its leg right here. You real good girl. Makes nice calves with our bull. Red. Everybody's looking good. So I've been spending uh, the last few mornings, we got a two strands of high tensile fence that run down through here that separate this pasture over here, which we call the no name, from the one on this side of the fence that we're in, which we call the woods field, hint being close to the woods. Um, so I've been cleaning this, this fence line up. It's had a lot of multiple four rows in it the last couple years and I've neglected to get back here and do it. But I tell you, there's a lot of fence here and uh, I'm getting older and uh, I feel it when I weed eat that much anymore. So I'm trying to get it before the heat gets out here, starts kicking my butt and uh, it's looking a lot better. I've just got maybe, maybe 30 yards down on that end and it'll all be cleaned up. So feeling real good about that. But the woods pasture here, um, it's 25 acres, I believe. And uh, I'm not breaking these paddocks down super small. I mean, I could be putting more pressure on them for sure. You can see that side of the paddock. And we'll walk over here and I'll show you the other side. Lots of nice clover though. another reason I'm moving them now um, we've had a lot of cool mornings a lot of damp mornings with dew on the clover and uh, trying to avoid any uh, bloat so there you can see the poly stakes a couple of them runs right down through there so they've got a pretty good size area here and the reason for that is it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and uh, I don't really want to be out here moving them so I'll come up and check on them, look for babies, but I won't have to be out here setting up a paddock. And then just on the other side of that will be their last paddock in this pasture. And then we'll move out right back through the no name and head to a different pasture. I'm really excited about this girl over here. I showed you my cow red there, the red and white one. Um, this is her heifer calf. She'll be two here real soon. Won't you, girl? Real excited about her. Look how good she looks. She needs to slick out, but she's looking good. And she's an Angus uh, Pinsgower cross. And I just learned that here recently. I wasn't real familiar with the Pinsgower. I had to look them up. They're actually, um, they're a real pretty red and white breed if you get them purebred. Here comes Red. Right there she is. She's made some nice uh, calves for me and they've turned out really, really well. Uh, even one of the steers that I've sold from her to the guy I work for, he complimented that steer over the other ones that I've sold to him. So Red's a keeper. So I'm really excited about having her daughter in here, which just got bred. Eh, when was that? Middle of March? 
So she'll be having a, a calf late in the year. May have been middle of February. Can't remember. Probably middle of February. It's right when I sorted out all the calves and weaned them. This is the day before that, so I'd have to go back and look. But yeah, that's red. She's uh, a Pinsgauer. If you had never heard of them, look them up. She's also got a little calf around her hair, but I haven't seen it. Hmm. All right, dang it, Red. Where's your baby? And it was born over the winter, so it's not this year's calf by any means. Let's see here. Not seeing her. Oh, there she is. There's Red. There's Red's calf. And it was born in December. Another heifer calf, so hopefully another keeper for me. Hey, I'll use Red to build my whole herd. <laughs> Red's a big old thick girl. That's for sure. Anyway, folks, that's it. I'm gonna get their water moved to this side of the poly wire, and I'm gonna head back into the, uh, back to the house. So, we'll talk to you later. We'll see you next time. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and make sure you throw me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Raising Acres Farm. Update update things have changed <laughs> oh my goodness the video you just watched was shot two days ago and i had intentions of getting it edited and uploaded to youtube yesterday but that didn't happen um what i didn't mention and the, the video that you just watched was on the other side of the farm i have a few steers a young heifer and what is there eight cows that i just got um maybe a week ago and uh, what I wasn't expecting was for them to calve. I came up yesterday, I went to check them before I went and checked the, the main cow herd. And here's a young calf wandering around. I'm like, where the heck did that come from? Cow had a baby. <laughs> so I've got herds on two different sides of the farm and they're both calving. So my goal in the next week is to get these herds joined together so that I'm not running back and forth checking for calves in two different places. It's just a headache and you don't want to make it any harder than you have to. So that's the plan. Um, we're currently right in between rains, but it's been pouring like monsoons. Um, they're saying between last night and today we could get close to two inches of rain. So, so I don't get caught off guard, I'm going to use the tractor to go check the cows and look for calves. It's not something I would practice, but I don't really want to get soaked. At the same time, I don't really want to miss um, a calf that could be tagged while it's super young. If they, if they get over a day old, your chances of getting a hold of them, they really slim down. And to keep track of everybody just makes it so much easier if they have that tag in their ear. So I'm going to hop in the tractor. I've already got my my tackle box in there with my tags and my tagger. I got my bottle of iodine and I'm gonna go look for, for uh, new calves this morning. And when I do, I'm gonna include a video of this new herd so you can check them out. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back at our other pasture where there's 12 head. Eight of them are cows. First time heifers, cows. There's a mixture, and then there's a few of, uh, well, you remember the calves I just weaned? There's two steers in here and a real young heifer, the, 
the young heifer of mine's right here. She's the white-faced one. But these cows, they're unbelievable. Super fat. I guess there's three steers. Um, that white tagged one right there was acting kind of nutty in the corral. So um, when I sent the rest of the steers back to their home farm, um, we decided to keep him here just because he was acting so nutty that maybe he would calm down if he was with the cows for a while. So <clears throat> that's where that falls. This young lady right here with the green tag, I'm pretty excited to have back. She's from the uh, red low line that you've seen earlier in the video. There's one of my steers. What's that? Look at these cows. Look how fat they are. Of course, they're about to give birth, but super fat. Okay, there's the baby I tagged yesterday. See that mama? She's getting springy. And that's the other thing about these cows is, you know, I don't know them. So I don't know how they're going to react when I tag their calf. That one there was a little intimidating yesterday. You see, she wants nothing to do with me. Heading away. This here's one on my steers. This one's from my red cow, Millie. He's solid pharaoh. I really questioned on whether to band him or not, but I went ahead and did it. Probably should have sold him as he was, but I didn't. He's here. He's a keeper now. Anyway, this is the other herd. Don't see any new calves. So I think with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out for good this time. Uh, I'm going to head back and check the other cow herd and make sure there's no new calves on the ground calving season and grazing have both officially started so thanks for watching grazing acres farms and we'll see you next time <laughs>